Good morning boys and girls, I hope you're all well. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and you are ready for a new week of guided reading. This week we are going to be looking at a new book, but first let's remind ourselves of our reading strategies. You can use any of these to help you, but the ones I wanted to focus on this week are your eagle eyes and your stretchy face. Your eagle eye is when you look at pictures in the book to help you with clues with the words. And your stretchy snake is when you look at letters in the word and you stretch out the sound slowly and then you go back and say them all together again. Let's have a go at a stretchy snake all together. Alarm. Ah, ooh, arm. You have a go for me? Fantastic, well done. Let's try it all together one more time. Alarm. Ah, ooh, arm. Good job, well done. The book that we're going to be looking at this week is called False Alarms. Boys and girls, here is what our book looks like on Oxford Owl. Let's have a read. Hero Academy False Alarms. In this story is Evan, brackets flex. Evan is super stretchy. He can stretch his body in any direction. Direction. He once stretched his arms all the way round Hero Academy. Pip, brackets boost. Pip is super strong. She can lift up really heavy weights like boulders. She once lifted a skyscraper. Chapter 1. Heroes of the Day. Superheroes of the Day. Evan and Pip felt very proud as they stood in the head's office. As a reward for working hard, said the head, I am making you superheroes of the day. Pip turned to Evan. That means if the police are too busy, we get to help out. The grand white gemstone has just arrived at the Lexus City Gallery, said the head. It's the rarest jewel in the world, so the police will be busy patrolling nearby. Evan gasped. Every villain around must want that gemstone. At the moment, at that moment, a shrill, bleeping sound came from the screen, and Police Commissioner Jordan's face appeared. I need your help, heroes, said Police Commissioner Jordan. What's happened? asked the head. A man dressed as a clown is taking money from Lexus City Bank, said the commissioner. We'll investigate right away, replied the head. This is a job for Boost and Flex, Evan cried. To the bank! Chapter 2. A Cross Clown Evan and Pip changed into their superhero costumes and became Flex and Boost. Then they raced at the top speed to the bank. Flex spotted the clown through the window. He was holding a big bag of money. There he is, Flex cried. Boost smashed through the doors. Stop right there, she ordered. Flex stretched out his arms, knocking the money bag to the floor. What are you doing, said the clown angrily. This money belongs to the circus. Our clown cars have flat tyres. So the boss sent me out to buy new ones. The bank manager hurried across. What's happened to my door? he asked crossly. Booth's cheeks turned as red as the clown's nose. Sorry. And why are you bothering my customer? demanded the bank manager, scowling. I should call the police. Lex and Booth left in a hurry. He doesn't know that it was the police that called us. Flex sighed. We jumped to the wrong conclusion about that clown. Chapter 3. Crime Wave The head was frowning when Boost and Flex got back. Sorry, said Boost quickly. The clown was innocent, but we didn't give him a chance to explain. Flex unclipped his superhero of the day badge and tried to give it back. Keep it, said the head. No real harm was done. I've arranged for the door of the bank to be fixed, he 
smiled. When the bank manager saw your costumes, he thought you'd come from a rival circus. Suddenly, the screen bleeped and the commissioner's face appeared again. A suspected thief has been sneaking in at our windows in the cloud scratch skyscraper, she said. We're on our way, said Boost. Boost and Flex raced to the skyscraper. High above, someone was standing on a platform holding a bucket. The thief, cried Boost. That bucket must be full of stolen loot. Flex, get up there. Flex stretched his legs like an ultra-long ladder and zoomed up towards the intruder. On his way up, Flex accidentally knocked the platform. The man slipped on his bucket, landed on his head. Ha! Flex exclaimed. Caught you in the act, thief. Boosh cheered from the pavement. Thief! The man said, trying to pull the bucket off his head. I'm a window cleaner! Back on the ground, Flex groaned. I can't believe we made another mistake. At least you got down from the platform before the window cleaner could pull off his bucket to see you, Boost said. Even so, Flex felt rotten. The friends hurried back to Hero's Academy, where the head was waiting for them. Another false alarm, Flex explained. Most peculiar, the head replied. Never mind. Commissioner Jordan has called again. A large mysterious hole has appeared in Halfway Hill, at the edge of the city. We must investigate this time. Be careful. It could be another false alarm. We will, Boost promised. Come on, Flex. Chapter 4. The Whole Truth The sun was going down as Flex and Boost reached the hole in the hillside. It's probably just a big animal burrow, said Flex. Maybe we should go. You heard the head. It could just be another false alarm. Booth shook her head. But what if it isn't? She took a small torch from the pouch on her belt and climbed into the hole. Let's explore. This tunnel goes on for a long way, said Booth. A very long way, Flex agreed. It's leading us underneath the city. The tunnel finally sloped upwards and then began to see some light. Boost and Flex stopped at the end of the tunnel and peered out. They could see a magnificent jewel shining in the centre of the room. That's the grand white gemstone, Boost cried. We're in the Lexa City Gallery. Flex gasped as he spotted a familiar, flendous figure. It was Ray Ranta, arch enemy of Hero Academy, on the other side of the room. He was giving his bunny wunnies orders. He must be here to steal the jewel, Booth said. Ranta scowled at them. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be busy. I phoned the commissioner enough times. Ray Ranter, number one most wanted villain. Catchphrase, heroes are zeros, hobbies, stamp collecting. He would love nothing more than to have a set of Ranter stamps. Likes, white rooms, white suits, turnips because they're white. Dislikes, all colours and raspberries because the hairy and raspberry stains are impossible to remove from white suits. Beware. He created robotic rabbits, bunny bunnies, to help him carry out his dastardly plans. So you made the false report, report said Flex. That's right, Ray Ranta replied, looking smug. Well, someone else reported your hole in ha Halfway Hill and called the police, said Boost. I suppose you thought you could tunnel in here and just snatch the gemstone? Yes, Ranta snarled. And you won't stop me. Ranta pulled a small yellow gadget from his pocket. I have taken control of the gallery security systems, he gloated. I hear that the intruder catcher is quite infected. Shall we find out? 
he pressed a button and a thick steel cage shot up from the floor to the ceiling. Boost and Flex were trapped. Ranta grabbed the jewel, then laughed and waved farewell. Oh no you don't, said Flex. He stretched his super long arm through the bars of the cage, grabbed the yellow ga gadget and hit the button. The cage slid back down, Ranta ran towards the tunnel. Boo stamped her foot on the floor with incredible strength. The shockwave was like an earthquake. It knocked Ranta to the floor. As Ranta fell, the grand white gemstone flew out of his hand. In a flash, Flex stretched out and caught it. Boo pressed another button on the yellow gadget. All the gallery's alarms went off at once. That should bring the police, both grit. Boost said, bring in. With a bellow of rage, Ranta dived into the tunnel. After him, Flex yelled. Boost and Flex began to follow, but Ranta's bunny bunnies were furiously filling the tunnel with earth behind them. He's getting away, cried Boost. We'll catch him another day, replied Flex. Flex put the grand white gemstone back and the heroes raced towards the nearest nest. Back at Hero Academy, the head smiled at Evan and Pip. You really are superheroes of the day, he said. Now, hopefully, Ray Ranta has learned his lesson. There won't be any more false alarms. Talking of alarms, Pip said. Has the dinner bell gone yet? Good point, Pip, Evan said, rubbing his thumb up. I'm starving. Now that I've finished reading the book, go all the way back to the beginning for me and have a go at reading it yourself. If you are struggling, you can rewind this video and listen to me read it. Or down here on Oxford Owl, you have the play button. This week, we are going to be some, doing something a little bit different. And your first activity is going to be a word search. To access the word search, all you need to do is click on the link that I will give in your class portfolio. Once clicking the link, it will look like this. To enter the word search, all you need to do is enter your name. When it has loaded, it will look like this, and all you need to do is press start. These are all the words that you will need to find in your word search. Let's try and find the first one together. Superheroes. All you need to find is the first letter. So, superheroes. Good job. Now, when you're finished, don't forget to send me a picture to show me you have completed it. Enjoy and have fun.